What is up guys, my name is Guillaume and in today's episode of Hit The Tone, we're checking out Give It Away by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. What is up guys, hope you're all having a great day today. My name is Guillaume, this is Thurman's Guitars and Basses, and in today's episode of Hit The Tone, we're checking out the song Give It Away by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, starting with our guitar setup. And obviously we're talking about John Frusciante again. Uh, this is not the first episode, this is definitely not the last. You guys all know how much I love John Frusciante, so... This is um, a bit of an earlier take on, on what he does. It covered a lot of stadium, arcadium, and that kind, of a, that kind of thing. That being said, it was always either a Strat or just a single coil instrument. I think it did one with the, uh, the Silver Sky as well. But that's the kind of guitar you want to go for. Three single coils, bridge, middle, and neck, uh, if you want to cover more Red Hot Chili Peppers. But in today's particular context, we'll be uh, playing in the bridge position. That's why, like, HSS doesn't really uh, work for that. But as usual, if you only have a guitar equipped with humbuckers, you can always split them to get sort of in the right ballpark uh, for that kind of sound. But I'll be playing my Strat for today, I'll be in the bridge position, and now let's go have a look at our amp and pedal setup. And this is definitely the biggest problem trying to cover any sort of drum frusciante or Red Hot Chili Peppers in particular, because this amp rig is massive. It's uh, Marshall Majors, Silver Jubilees, a lot of power, a lot of cabinets, and same in the studio. Uh, it was, I think, from that point on, he recorded with the Marshall Majors and some modified plexis and things like that. So it's really, really loud if you want to get the same kind of grit without using a pedal. Today I'll be using the Marshall MK2 Studio, which is a mini version of the plexi, but as I said, the grit sort of, and the amount of volume you have to have to get the same kind of gain structure, even those like super low gains, like give it away, uh, was just not really working. So I'll also be using the DC drive by Carl Martin, uh, very low on the drive, but just enough to push the front end of the amp and getting the same kind of gain without having to crank it completely and going deaf. Also, and probably most important on that particular song, is the flanger. So today I'm using the Polychrome by Walrus Audio, which is a great, great pedal. There's many, many more options than that. Uh, the Thorpey uh, Camouflage, there's, uh, that's the one that comes to mind. But I'll be putting a bunch of alternatives in a link in the description box down below if you don't have a flanger. So, I'll be playing the amp without the DC drive first, and I'll kick that in so that you guys can hear the difference. And finally, I'll uh, kick in the Polychrome. So that's it for my pedals, uh, not, not quite actually, don't take my word on this because I'm, I'm pretty sure there's none on the actual record, but in isolation it does help a lot. I have the Triva by Fender uh, for just a little bit of reverb, just a little bit of, of room in the sound, just to make it, well, a bit nicer in isolation first, and also because Otherwise, it's mostly just close miking, and that's not really representative of how big the sound is, even though it is probably dry on the actual recording. That's to your personal preference. I don't say you have to get that. It's just that right now here with that setup, it works pretty well. But with that said, I'm super happy with that sound, so let's go on to the final part of the video, which as usual is the most important, and is how to play the riff. And before we get into the close-ups, please note that for this song, your guitar is going to be tuned in E standard, so nothing too complicated there. As much as I could hear it, there was no like slight detune thingy as we could have, as we've seen in other Red Hot Chili Peppers song. I think just like standard 442 uh, tuning works on that one. Yeah, let's jump into it and have a closer look at how to play the riff exactly. <laughs> And in my 
my opinion, I think the hardest thing about this riff is definitely the first part because it's a super thin line you're walking on, just in between the very high power, kind of sloppy, kind of just, you know, punky uh, riff, but at the same time, the amount of precision that you have to put in it to have it sound right. Mostly on that bend, when you go uh, there and have to bend uh, the ninth, you really want to have your index finger already anchored on the seventh fret there, and also make sure that you do uh, pick on the 10th fret. It's like there's quite a bit of coordination involved and the fact that it's happening fairly quickly as well is not helping. So, uh, you know, as usual, I think you should work both those positions sort of individually. First off, just the A kind of, uh, you know, it's not really a chord. I don't know how to call that. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> one finger, one string. It's an, I don't know, that first and then maybe uh, spend a little bit more time just like jumping from that into the bend, which in my opinion is the most complicated part. What's happening afterwards during the verse is fairly simple. It's a bit tricky in terms of timing, so you do want to pay attention to that. But other than that, it's definitely funkier, sort of simpler to play. So yeah, you guys won't have any problems with, uh, with that one. And on this, I think that's it, guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Give It Away by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. As usual, I hope this episode was useful and that maybe you've learned some things. So if so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on the next ones. And while you're down there, please put your song recommendations in the comment section. I really love those. I'll get to them as soon as I possibly can. But in the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.